Hello guys, I'm Timothy Earl from Picks and Parlays and Earl Sports Bets, and welcome back to another edition of Balling Out with Tim Earl. Today we've got a solid one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine NBA games to talk about. Before we jump into all of that, if you guys want to know all the ones that are on the site, including my best bet, you guys can go ahead and check out the one week NBA pass for only $70, picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim. I'm currently number one in the NBA on the site. Uh, already cashed one of my bets today with the under in the Miami game. That one was nice and easy because Miami won the game and scored 100 points, uh, which I said, hey, neither team would hit 100. One of them hit exactly 100. It works. Uh, and then my best bet of the day was the over in the Laker game, which is currently live lined around 226, 227. Um, so I'm not sure that's probably not going to end up hitting because I end up getting it at 236 and a half. And then my last play is the Denver Nuggets. So we'll see how that one goes. Those are the three plays that were on the site, um, for Tuesday. Now on to Wednesday, we got a decent size slate. So we'll go ahead and jump into it. The Blazers are five point favorites. Sorry. No, the Grizzlies are five point favorites against the Blazers. 229 is the total in this one. And, uh, it's just backing one of the better home teams in the NBA, which is the Memphis Grizzlies. They're 21-3 and three at home this year, so they've been quite solid. They had a little bit of a rough stretch, but it was all on the road. They lost five straight games to the Lakers, Suns, uh, Sacramento, Golden State, and Minnesota, all on the road on their at-west road trip. They came home and immediately got back in the win column. I think they do the exact same here. They're going to be competitive for the top of that Western Conference, and uh, I'm going to take them to win. I think they probably win by double digits in this one. We'll go on to Wizards and Pistons. Speaking about hot teams, the Wizards are five and a half point favorites. Two thirty six and a half is the total, and the Wizards have won and covered in six straight games. Very impressive. Let's keep on backing them. This is a Pistons team that I do not trust whatsoever. Um, this is a team that's just been struggling down the stretch. They're, they've won two out of their last ten. They've lost four, uh, six out of their last seven. The only win again was against Brooklyn, which, hey, good win there. But this is a team that's been struggling as of late against a team that's been really good. Give me the Wizards minus the five and a hook. Hey, wait, we just saw this matchup. The Magic and the Sixers. The Sixers are eight and a half point favorites. 229 and a half is the total. And normally... I would go right back after the Magic. I'm not. I'm not going after the Magic. Um, Magic just won outright after coming back from a 21-point deficit against these guys a day ago. And I had Orlando. I had Orlando plus the points. I had Orlando money line. I really wanted to go back to them. I'm not going to. I'm not laying with the uh, Sixers either. I'll go ahead and take the under. I think it's going to be a defensive shutdown type of game for the Sixers. I think the Sixers are going to try to do their best to try to slow down whatever Orlando is doing. We'll go ahead and take the under. Philly's got to be disgusted with the way that they played, the, the amount of points they let up. So I think this is a bounce-back game for them. I would lean Sixers. I'm going to take the under. Nets and the Celtics are up next. Uh, Celtics are eight-point favorites. 226.5 is the total. And we'll go after the road dog in this one. We'll take the eight with the Nets. I know they have not been playing well as of late. Well, they've won their last two against the Knicks and against a LeBron and a D list Lakers. So um, I'm not really hung up on that. I think they keep this one close. Normally the Brooklyn Boston games are pretty close. Uh, I know still no KD, but I still think they'll be able to keep it within eight points. So Nets plus the points. Kings and the Spurs is up next. Kings minus seven and a half. Uh, 244 is the total. It seems like a high total, right? You got the number one scoring offense in the Sacramento Kings against the worst defense in the NBA in the Spurs. I know the Spurs didn't go over their last game. They still allowed 127 points. That is a crazy amount of points to give up. And that was against the Wizards that are not the best offensive team. Now you get the Kings who are scoring 119.5 points a game. That's number one in the NBA. Give me the over. I will continue to back the overs in Sacramento games. They are hitting at a crazy clip this year. Thunder and the Rockets are up next. Thunder are six-point faves. 231.5 is the total. And I'm going to go over. This is a uh, a Thunder team 
Sorry, that has been absolutely shooting the lights out. Fifth in scoring this year, 116.9 points a game. And they've been doing really, really well as of late. And they're going up against the Rockets, who are not a good off, not a good defense at all. I think the Thunder will put up a lot of points. Obviously, I lean Thunder. I wasn't going to lay the points on the road like that unless I really wanted – I really thought it was good, like bet, betting the Wizards the other day against the Spurs. I don't feel like it's a good spot for Oklahoma City to lay the points. I'm just going to go ahead and um, take the over in this game. My best bet is in this game um, between the Warriors and the T-Wolves. It's on a side. The T the Warriors are two-and-a-half-point favorites, 239 is the total. I'll go under. Um, this is just a – a Minnesota team that's been trending more towards the under lately. They've gone under under and four straight, five out of their last six. And the Warriors on the road are a team that doesn't score as much and is going to lean more towards the under. 240, 239 and a half is just too high in this one. We'll take it under. Two games left, the Raptors and the Jazz. The Jazz are two and a half point faves. 230 and a half is the total. And uh, with this one, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Raptors. Um uh, once again, I do not trust the Utah Jazz as a favorite. Um, I know they covered their last game as a favorite, um, and they 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 won and covered their last three out of four as a favorite. But it was against a Clippers team with no Kawhi and no um, Paul George. It was against the Charlotte Hornets and against a Lucas Dallas team. I'm not sold on them. I think the Raptors have been playing better as of late. I'll go ahead and grab them. Plus the two and a half. Final game on the slate is the Hawks and the Suns. The Suns are one and a half point favorites. 228 is the total in this game. And uh, I looked at this one and I'm going to go after the Suns. This is a Suns team that's been playing some good basketball lately. They've won and covered in six out of their last seven games. I'm going to continue to back them. This is going to be a team that's going to get better down the stretch and is going to be dangerous in the playoffs. And they're still not 100% healthy. Booker is still out, and this team is still playing well. We'll go ahead and grab the Suns minus the one and a half tomorrow at home to finish off the card. If you guys want uh, to know all the ones that are on the site, because I do not bet all these, and the numbers are subject to change, um, I do not bet every single one of these games. That would be irresponsible to bet nine games in a day um, or nine plays on every single game. So uh, all the ones that I do bet are on the website right here. And um, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this one. If you guys are new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, let's make some money. Let's cash some bets in the NBA. Good luck, guys.